Barack Obama was born to the parents of Anna Durham, mom, and to Barack Obama's sir, dad, at Capolino Medical School, Honolulu, Hawaii. His name, Barack, stands for one who is blessed in Swahili. His parents got divorced very soon after his birth and stayed with his mom to raise him. At age 10, Obama went to Purnana School, Hawaii, which is an elite private school that he went for his late elementary, middle, and high school life. When he was at Occasional College in Los Angeles, he transferred to Columbia University in New York City, from which he graduated in 1983 with a degree in political science. He went back to school and graduated with a JD, Doctor of Law, from Harvard Law School in 1991. He was the first black editor of the prestigious Harvard Law Review. After graduating from Harvard with his JD in 1991, Barack Obama worked as a civil rights lawyer and a community organizer in Chicago. Barack Obama decided to enter politics and ran for office in 1996. He was elected to the Illinois State Senate and began politics career, getting re-elected to the state Senate twice before running for the U.S. Senate and running in 2004. In 2015, the Supreme Court accepted a case that will go down as Orberfell v. Hodge. The argument was the Supreme Court of the United States ruled that fundamental rights to marry is guaranteed to same-sex couples by the Due Process Clause and the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment in the United States Constitution. The ruling was 5-4 to the President signed a law that all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and the insular states areas to perform a recognition of the marriage of same-sex couples on the same terms and conditions as the marriage of opposite sex couples, with the accompanying rights and responsibilities. On March 20th, 2003, the United States of America declared war with Iraq, and it was an ongoing battle until the 44th President, Barack Obama, took office and made the promise to the American people. After taking office, I announced a new strategy that would end our combat mission in Iraq and move all of our troops by the end of 2011. As promised, the rest of the troops in Iraq will come home by the end of the year. And in late 2011, it was done successfully. On December 8, 2011, by the end of the holiday season, all the troops were withdrawn from Iraq. Barack Obama was a great president. He made many goals and successions in office in his early years. He has a lot of other accomplishments that were big for the country. Some of them I didn't even mention. Barack Obama was able to rescue the country from Great Recession, cutting the unemployment rate from 10% to 4.7% over six years. He also signed the Affordable Care Act, which provided health insurance to over 20 million uninsured Americans. These are just the big accomplishments in office. He did a lot more out of office as well. It's going to be a while for a president who did as much as Barack Obama.